Hello, this is the introductory video for our practical and we will be looking at ibuprofen release from gel formulations. For these experiments we will be using a France cell that is a special cell that could be used to determine the drug permeation from various uh, formulations through the skin or through some other membranes. So what we will be dealing with, we will be looking at uh, ibuprofen uh, transdermal creams and uh, this is how to set up the front cell. Front cell consists of donor compartment and it is made of glass and this is receptor compartment. Um, so that's how front cell is assembled. Basically donor compartment is placed on the receptor compartment and between them there's a membrane. Then we will use a clamp we will put them together, then we will clamp the donor and receptor compartment. But before doing that, we will fill up the uh, receptor compartment with phosphate buffer. And we need to make sure that we will put a little bit phosphate buffer on the top. Then we cover the uh, receptor compartment with the membrane. And we use dialysis membrane made of cellulose. So we need to ensure that air bubbles are not trapped underneath the membrane. Then we place a donor compartment on the top. And then we clamp them together. So these uh, two compartments should be perfectly aligned. So that's the way how you fill up the, uh, the uh, receptor compartment, then place a membrane, then put a donor compartment on, uh, making sure that they are aligned, and then you clump them together. Then how we're going to do the experiment, we will add the magnetic stirrer, we will equilibrate uh, the um, cell in the water bath then we will spread around 0.5 to 1 gram of ibuprofen gel on the membrane surface in the donor compartment and ibuprofen will start releasing uh, from the gel permeating through the membrane and we will be sampling the uh, drug uh, from the uh, sampling port then we will be using UV spectrophotometer to assay ibuprofen so that's uh, how the front cell is secured using a lab stand. That's how the magnetic bar is inserted into the um, receptor compartment. Then it should be stirring inside, so to ensure the uh, perfect diffusivity of drug molecules. Then that's how we will be assembling the Pasteur pads that we will use for sampling and that's how it is inserted inside we need to make sure that we will not uh, insert air bubbles into the uh, into the receptor compartment so then we carefully take out um, a sample we put it into the cavette and we measure the drug content spectrophotometrically. So first we need to auto zero uh, the instrument, telling the instrument that nothing in there. Uh, so we will auto zero it with the um, initially water taken from the front cell before we charge the front cell with the gel. Then we definitely need to return all samples back into the diffusion cell because if we don't do that then the volume will be decreasing and that will be uh, not good. Uh, we also need to check what is the weight of the gel tube before the experiment then once we uh, charge the uh, front cell with the gel we will weigh out the gel tube again and by the difference we will work out how much gel we have placed on the membrane. Then once we uh, 
charge the uh, cell with the uh, ibuprofen gel. We'll start the timer and we also need to cover the cell with a parafilm to avoid evaporation of volatile ingredients uh, present in the gel and also to avoid contamination uh, of uh, the gel uh, with any dust particles or anything from the air. So now we are measuring the gel tube after discharging the um, uh, gel and we could work out what, uh, what amount of gel we placed into the cell by the difference And we will be taking samples uh, at different time intervals every five minutes. Taking samples, then uh, measuring their absorbance uh, spectrophotometrically. And uh, obviously for doing that, we need to place the sample into the cuvette. We need to place enough sample uh, into the cuvette so the spectrometer could provide us correct reading. Um, so now inserting the cuvette into the spectrometer, uh, press reading button, uh, then recording the uh, absorbance value and then returning this amount of uh, sample back to the diffusion cell. Once we will be taking samples every five minutes, we will generate the data of absorbance. Then we will need to use standard calibration curve to convert absorbances into the uh, concentration values. I hope you will enjoy this practical. And before the start of the practical, I would like to remind you about the importance of lab safety. So safety goggles uh, and gloves is a must in this practical. Lab codes also. And also need to remind you about the importance of social distancing. Thank you.